Hi, my name is Sean, a geologist at Sequent. In this short video, we'll be discussing how to refine and group your soil and lithology classifications using the grouping and interval selection tools. On this site, we have a handful of fairly shallow borings with logged soils. Uh, this data looks probably pretty similar to what you might see coming directly from the field, especially if you have multiple geologists logging the borings. You're going to have some discrepancies typically in the actual classifications. So on the back end, we may want to clean this data up and group or lump data together to make it a little bit more simplified for our modeling process. So we can do that directly in LeapFrog. And we're gonna do that by first going into our borehole interval table and right clicking, selecting new column and group lithologies. I'm gonna give this a new name. And here we're gonna see all of our ungrouped categories here on the left. And what's neat about this is we can turn things on and off so we can display uh, specific lithologic codes in the scene to see where they are on our site. Uh, when we look at this data set specifically, we have uh, a number of codes which are very similar, very well may be the same. For instance, we have a road fill and also a road fill and soil. I think there's also one called soil and soil and road fill. So what's nice here is we can turn all of those on just to make sure they are indeed at the top of our borings. And we can see those all being populated here. What I'm going to do is we're going to lump those into one unit. So I'm going to click on one. I'm going to hold control, click on my other units, and then press new group. I'm going to call this topsoil and give this a new color. So we can see in the scene, everything is now green. Uh, if I hit the drop down next to topsoil, I'm going to see all of the other lithologic codes that have been binned under this topsoil. If you realize that you missed one, so here's another topsoil unit that I missed. I can actually just drag and drop it into the appropriate bin. Uh, we're going to do the same thing, uh, maybe with our silt and our silt and clays. I'm just going to grab a few of these. Silt and clay, silt and sand, silt stone, and select new group and call this silt. So take your time doing this, but for the sake of this video, it's pretty quick. So I'm going to finish the rest of these and kind of group these into a few specific units. Okay, so now that I have all of my units reclassified on the fly, uh, I'm going to press OK. Uh, keep in mind, this could also be done on USCS classification codes or even ASHTO uh, classifications. So now we've quickly reorganized this data and we can build our model from this. If we want to refine this a step further, we can use our interval selection tool. So I'm going to right click back on that interval table, select new column and select interval selection. We're going to choose that group's lithology that we just coded. I'm just going to call this interval selection. And this is another tool to help us refine these lithologic codes. So for instance, I'm going to zoom in here to my bedrock area, which consists of a shale and a sandstone. And we've got kind of these inner bedded lenses of, of silts and clays. Maybe those are there. Maybe it's not necessary. And you just want to lump those into your bedrock unit. So we're going to use this tool up here. This is your stroke selection tool. You can click on that. Uh, to the right of that is the size of your stroke. You can always change that. And if I drag and click, we'll see that paintbrush type thing. And I can just click on these intervals and those will highlight this blue color or I can drag and highlight that way. Um, so I can select these specifically and then I can assign them to another interval. So I'm going to assign them to my bedrock. So on the fly, once again, we're just kind of cleaning up this lithology. So you're going to want to go ahead and look at the rest of your borings, make sure it makes sense. Here's another one. Uh, we've got some sand logged underneath this shale. Um, I'm just going to click on that and assign it to my bedrock. And lastly, maybe you want to assign something to a new category. So this is my no sample. Once again, go back and check the log, see why there might be no sample, or you may need to assign it to a new lithology. So I'm just going to assign that, and maybe this is some sort of apparent void. We'll press OK, and now that is in your uh, lithologic descriptions. Uh, once you're happy with this, press the Save button. And now I can flick between those various lithologic interpretations down here in the shape list from our original lith units to our grouped to our interval selection. So hope that helps and happy modeling.